All right, welcome back to our small world. It's been a hot minute and I actually haven't done anything since I made the last video. I remember we started a library and some tools to enchant later. I know we got lucky and we got the cobbler going on excellent enchantments and we got a diamond shovel to get us through the hard days i just checked the last video and we made this flooring and i think it looks pretty good my inventory's a mess maybe i'll clean it up later uh, we terraformed here a little bit Looks good. Let's check in on the tower, the chicken tower of doom. I hear the dispenser shooting. There's a lot of chickens ready to go. I must have, uh... oh dear. The tower is not even done and there's too many chickens. So if I recall correctly, we have an egg collection system at the very bottom, which is accessible through means I have not yet figured out. This looks great. Now, it's just come to my attention the chickens might be, oh no, in a two by one. Okay, perfect. Well, they're certainly multiplying. Okay. So I guess we got to finish the tower quickly before there's too many chickens to count. I believe I turned off friendly creatures because it's very loud in here. Just slowly remembering. Okay, so by the looks of things, we were doing a deep slate and spruce and regular stone sort of mix for the walls. So let's keep playing with that concept. I'll start by putting away my redstone and then I'll put away these extras. Let's see if I remember how I had things organized. My metals can go here. My monster loot can go here. More redstone. I'll put the nether quartz with the redstone just because I know a whole bunch of materials use it. And that should be good enough. Now, a little bit of spruce if I have it. A little bit of stone if I got it to spare. A bit of cobble deep slate. And andesite. And that looks like it's all I got. For now. It's all I got for now. Unless I put it all in this chest. Conveniently labeled for this occasion all right so i already got this side of the wall done i think i'm just gonna copy it on the other side and i will maybe keep the chickens at a minimum but not at zero just so we can remember that they're there it's not that evil the chicken tower of Doom for nothing. All right. So, if I recall correctly, we're dealing with almost like a dome shape. All right. So, I might repeat that here. My 
need some stairs, but that's okay. I'll, uh, I think I can take a jump. Yes, I can. Woohoo! Oh, why did I jump? I need stone, stairs, and these walls. Okay, I'll just bring a whole bunch of stuff. I don't even know. I am so discombobulated right now. However, uh, from the chickens, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. Seems reasonable enough. And we'll have the wood. that did I get that right that looks right to me. Um, just trying to match this corner with the other one, making sure it looks like it makes sense. So far, I think it looks pretty good. But I might be short on stone bricks. This looks a little bit different than that, but I suspect it's because I don't have it perfectly symmetrical, which I do like. And in fact, I think I will make these walls, these iron bars for a little bit of snaz. So this wall will look a little different from the other two. It should look pretty good. I do say so myself. There we go. Let's go take a look at what we've done. And if it looks any good, we'll keep it. I think it looks great. I will keep it. Do I have any vines left? I might even put a couple of vines over here. Put a couple of torches down so no baddies come and haunt me middle of the night. All right, now we repeat the process over here. Should be straightforward enough.
already got some guests. Oh, and we have an unfinished bridge there too. Oh, I forgot about that bridge. Well, at least we got our work cut out for us for the next while. That's, that's what I say. I'm gonna make like a trim along this level with like something colorful and then I'll break that trim with some of this grading and then I'll continue this pattern in reverse and that should get us to the top I think that's what I'm going to do I know that didn't make absolutely any sense to anybody except me because it's in my head but Essentially, I need something colorful. That's what I need. But I'll just finish matching this wall before I forget, because I will forget. And it's going to drive me nuts if I don't finish it proper. stone wall but I don't have one so I'm gonna use this as a placeholder nope I'm all out of those walls um, that's okay I'll be fine without it I'll just go ahead and put this set over here oh it was only two and then aha then it expands Stairs, not bricks. I forgot. I am a little bit, like I said, a little bit out of it. I haven't done this in a while, but I'm feeling very confident that I'll pick it up and it's going to look amazing. Ow. If I can avoid jumping into my death like that, it would be pretty awesome. Happier. With this end looking like that. What do I have here? Yep, I'm really glad I got feather falling on my boots. And if you can hear those pistons going off, then you can really tell that we got a lot of eggs coming in. I see some baddies. Oh, I see some baddies. interested in baddies. I'm interested in my chicken tower of doom. So what will I do for color? If I had silk touch I would use the mushrooms, but I don't have silk touch. What do I have that's colorful? Not a whole lot of anything. Redstone's colorful, but it's a bit drab. Not a whole lot of granite. 
Gonna do colored glass. Oh. We can either do terracotta. I like that idea, actually. Um, yeah, let's do terracotta. Let's make a plan for dyes and we'll just make a whole bunch of terracotta and we'll dye it and it'll be great. And then we'll smelt it, it'll be perfect. I'll just put away my excess for now. And I'm gonna go dig for a whole bunch of clay. Oh, my andesite, both my andesite. Got this wool. stone. Fascinating. Okay, let's go dig out some clay. I know there's a whole bunch of it down here somewhere. I personally wouldn't mind. Where it comes from. Now, if I got into the rhythm of things, I feel like I could talk about some really interesting things while we mine, but something about playing Minecraft makes me just lose complete train of thought of anything that could potentially pass for interesting. So that's a muscle I have to develop, and I'm not entirely sure if there's anything I need to do make sure I'm doing that properly. Maybe I could do a fun fact section. Like, did you know that the average between two numbers is the number that's right in the middle of them? Like the average of one and three is two. I feel like everybody knew that. But there's your fun fact of the day. Maybe I'll come up with a different one next time. So that people don't think I'm so boring. or if that's not that much. I think three stacks is plenty, but I could be mistaken. Oh, I knew this would happen. I knew this was happen. I was here when this whole thing flooded. Not keen to have it flood again. I'll do another patch of clay. Maybe this one will be a bit bigger. is often found in many soils that retain more water. So plants that like a moist soil tend to grow in clay soil. 
Now you know that. Okay, we got one, two, two and a bit more clay. I think that'll get us going. Now I just need to smelt it, dye it, and smelt it again. We just gotta settle on a color. So I think next episode, we're gonna go looking for dyes. Now, just make some regular terracotta. Looks like I have a lot of iron. Looks like I have a good amount of iron. But I'll cook it next time. I need more lava, and I will need more cauldrons too, I'll just make those quickly. Yeah, so we'll get some dyes, we'll play around with the different glazed terracottas, and we'll go from there. Well, I think that's good enough for today. Thank you for watching. And have a good night.